Oh, very yeah. big fish. Yes, we got a hog. That's a biggie. That's Mo. Mo Bigsley. It's Ike. Take your time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Big peninsula steelhead. Look at that. Big male, probably 35, 36 inches long. About 18 inch girth. And there he goes. Our setting is the Olympic Peninsula of Washington. But it doesn't matter if you're in the Northwest, Midwest, or even Canada. Steelhead will respond to the techniques put forth here. We're going to visit some of the Northwest premier steelhead rivers. We're going to show you how to read water. We're going to show you the best techniques, and we're going to have a good time, Nick. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. We're in an absolute beautiful spot right now. Look at the water down there. We're going to talk about rods, reels, terminal gear, baits, lines, all the important things, but those don't mean anything if you don't know where to find the fish in the stream. We're looking at some really nice water right here, and how would you approach this, Bill? Always start high, that way you don't come across, you don't highlight, never walk into the middle of a pool and cast randomly, because random casts, you're only gonna catch the random fish. Always start at the top, methodically work your way down through the pool. And then it's also possible in a situation like this to extend your drift simply by opening the bail letting a little more line out and letting it drift further down. Your rigging for steelhead is critical, and we're going to take some time to go over it in detail. Sounds good. We're going to be doing uh, two different styles today. Um, traditional uh, bait casting, um, which is Bill's specialty, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, spin fishing. Okay. I think we should talk about how we get our baits down, first of all. Let's okay. take a look at our lead riggings. It will take some practice, but a great deal of satisfaction can come from accomplishing the task. Unlike trolling or simply bait fishing, it is an active sport that can keep you intrigued. Nick and Bill encourage you to give it a try and take this invitation to find a passion you may never escape.